What's up, y'all? How y'all doing out there? It's your girl, Tiffany, and I'm back at it with another video for y'all. For y'all screens, once again, TV screen, computer screens, phone screens. I don't know what screens y'all be watching YouTube on, but I'm on it. So, if you guys haven't read by the video, by the title, the video I'm going to do for you guys is just seven different things that tried to take me out the month of October. And the reason I'm doing this video, you guys, first off, October is my favorite month. I love Halloween. Um, my birthday is in October. My first son's birthday in October. October is just my favorite month. So, this year in 2021, it was some things that happened in October that tried to take your girl out, man. But one thing I am, I am strong and I'm, I'm, I'm a hustler and I really don't let anything break me. But this right here, you guys, I kind of had a pity party for a couple of days, was in my feelings, blah, blah, blah. So I'm back at it, back recording videos. It is what it is. Life is, is what it is. So stick to the video. It won't be too long. I'm trying to get all my boring ass ideas out the way so I can bring y'all some, some, some nice videos. You know, get my family on here. Like I've been saying videos ago, I'm going to do some pranks maybe. Probably do a challenge or some vlogs. I don't know. You know, one thing I did have to realize, I am a YouTuber. You know, I never wanted to be labeled as a YouTuber. I just wanted to be labeled as a person that does YouTube, but I'm a YouTuber. So, as far as being a YouTuber, you have to bring entertainment. I know I'm not doing that right now. I'm just bringing my pretty face, so, and my ideas, my life experiences. So, stick to the video, like I said, and let's get right to it. All right, you guys, so the first thing on this list, and it kind of happened to me in the beginning of the month, and it was kind of like a domino effect for the things that happened, like this happened, and then two, three days later, something else happened, and a week later, something else happened, to the point I was like, ugh, about to start pulling out the hair that I don't have. But yeah, I just put everything into God's hand. I realize God is first. God is all I need. And if I have me and God have me, who could be against me? And that's some real talk. So the first thing that's on this list is October 8th. I went to a funeral. Um, I buried my best friend who passed about eight, nine years ago. Um, I buried her son. Um, and that death right there really took me, just took a lot out of me took a lot of me. I actually think the day that we buried him, I did a video. And the video that I did, I was just in my car. It was just the, you know, I was doing my glasses and um, having a little playlist for you guys. Like, I was really in my feelings. I was trying not to cry. But after that, it broke me for a couple of days. I was literally sick to my stomach because all the emotions that I had, all the guilt that I had with his funeral and his death. And I really had to put it into perspective, like, that is God's son. We are God's kids. When it's our time, it's our time. It's nothing we could do about that. Only thing that we could do to live in souls is just hold on to the memories that you have. Make new moments so you can experience memories. And so, yeah, that death right there really tried to take me out. Um, but one thing that I did get from his death, you guys, is that we have no more time. We have no more time. Whatever you guys want to do with your life, with your love, with your mind, do it. With your body. Don't let nobody tell you that you can't. If it's in your heart, do it because we have no more time. That baby was 23 years old. 23 years old. So that's the first thing that tried to take me down, and it did. It took me down for a couple of days, but I realized who was in control. And I realized that he wouldn't have wanted to see me how I was. He won't nothing. I, I know just his spirit, his smile, everything. He didn't want me to be the way I was for them couple of days. So this video, I'm dedicating to him. I'm dedicating to him. So that was the first thing. About to get to the second thing. We got six more things to get to. Yeah, October tried to take me down. All right, you guys. So we are on that second thing that tried to take your girl down in the month of October, my birthday month. How dare you? How dare you try to take me out? But the second thing on my list, and these things are not in no specific order. I mean, it just happened. It just happened. Some things happened in the same day. It was just not in a specific order. But this thing right here, you guys, is my freaking car broke down. My baby. 
my Chevy Equinox that I've been having for two years just wanted to stop working all of a sudden. Um, I know that's a material thing and I know you could get another car and you know, but it, it, it took me. It took me for a loop because it's like, why? Why did you have to take my transportation from me? You know, if I would have let that bother me, which I didn't let that bother me for too long. I think I was in a pity party with that for probably two hours. Jumped up out of that, bounced back from that. Um, do have vehicles I could drive, so that wasn't really nothing to hold on to. But it tried to take me out. It tried to take me out. My car. My car stopped working. Yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. But that's the second thing. Almost at the third. Y'all like my favorite color is black. So yeah, I think I'm gonna wear black forever. What y'all think? I will show y'all my feet, but the things is ugly. Alright, you guys, so we are on that number three thing. The third thing that tried to take your girl out the month of October. But good thing I am who I am and can nothing, I mean nothing take me out. Nobody or nothing. And that's it. That's it. That's all. So the third thing that really tried to take me out like a domino effect and it could have happened the same day my car broke down is my phone. My phone has a mind of its own. It wants to call people that I haven't called in years. It wants to email people. It wants to hang up. It wants to do what it wants to do. So, you guys, that's another thing that mm, it took me. It took me for a minute. I had my little pity party probably for about five minutes. It is what it is. My phone stopped working. My car stopped working. I had to bury somebody. I mean, October was a month that I'm not going to never forget. So, that's the third thing. My phone started having a mind of its own. It was just so much, but... Good thing I'm going to be getting a new phone next week. So I'm just putting these videos and just letting you guys know that shit's going to happen. Good thing happens to bad people. Bad people get good things. Good people experience bad things. So it don't matter how good you think you are. You could be a good mother, a good girlfriend, a good boyfriend, a good daughter, good son, good father. Bad stuff is going to happen to you and you just have to pick up your big girl panties or your big boy drawers and move on. It's nothing you can do. It's out of your control. If you can't control it, let it go. My phone going bad, it went bad. I'm going to try to get a new phone next week. It's nothing I can do about it. That's life. So you guys probably like, why is she telling me this? I'm telling you this because it doesn't matter what happens. As long as you have God and you got yourself, you got, that's, that's the majority right there. That's the majority. So even though I experienced bad after bad after bad, I came to a point like, it's not happening to me. It's happening for me. So, all right, you guys. So we are on the number four fourth thing that's on my list that tried to take your girl out the month of October and good thing I didn't let it but the fourth thing is my worth the month of October I really had to take a deep look at my worth you know um it was it really came into judgment I really um I put my worth on the back burner which is the wrong thing to do you always put your worth first but the month of October, I felt like my, 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 my character was weak, you know? And um, I had to really, really look and examine my worth, y'all. Honey, child, chicka, boom, boom. My worth got played. And um, that's a bad thing. When somebody plays on your worth or you let somebody play on your worth, no matter who it is. No matter who it is, it could be your mama, your daddy, your cousin, your significant other. When they start playing with your worth, you start doubting yourself. And that's a no-no. So, that's the number fourth thing that I kind of let get to me. I kind of forgot my worth for a little bit, but keep though. But I'm back at it. Yeah. I know how much I'm worth. And now I'm adding tax. <laughs> Stop playing. So, you guys, we're going down to the fifth. I like my new pedicure. We're going down to the fifth thing on my list that tried to take your girl out the month of October, but I didn't let it. I mean, I did let it for about a day or two or 
the week, but yeah, I gotta buy it that real fast. All right, you guys, so we are on the number 50 on my list that tried to take your girl down the month of October, but good thing I didn't let it. Good thing I didn't let it take me out like it tried to. So the number 15, you guys, and this is something that a lot of people probably would go crazy about. But me, like I've been saying in my last past videos, these last couple of months, 2021, I've really been on my good energy vibe. You know, just trying to be better than I was last year. You know, just trying to be a better mom, a better girlfriend, or just a better woman, period. So, this right here would have really took me out years ago because um, I'm a hustler. I'm a hustler. I've always been a hustler since the day I can remember. I had my son when I was 15. I was hustling the day I had my son. You get what I'm saying? He needed Jordans. I needed Jordans. We needed Jordans. We needed, yeah. Always been a hustler. Always. Income was always there. But the month of October, the month of October, the month of October, you guys, my income was reduced by 50%. 50% of my income was gone, no longer. And like I said, years ago or even last year, it would have sent me there. It would have sent me there. I would have, I was so much of an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. Oh, you would have felt this, Raph. You would have felt it, but this month, last month, I mean, because it's November 1st, Last month, I really had to re, just relive, revisit, revamp everything about myself. And I had to realize there at that moment that I'm going to be happy regardless. I'm going to be happy if I got a dollar in my pocket. I'm going to be happy if I got a thousand dollars in my pocket. Money don't make me. I make money. So even though my income was, it was gone, you know. Your girl couldn't buy all the shoes she wanted to buy for her birthday. Couldn't get my nails done. Couldn't get my feet done. Had to do all my own hair. Whatever. I learned to appreciate that. Appreciate that. And now that it was reduced 50% in October, November is going to be better. December is going to be even better. 2022 is going to be even better. That's how I'm thinking. That's how I want you guys to think. No matter what you go through, no matter what is taken from you, no matter who walks out, just know God has something better. He has something better. Let go, let God, and move on. All right? So that's the number five thing that was on my list that tried to take your girl out, but I wouldn't let it. All right. All right, you guys. I think I'm just going to stick with the you guys and... Yeah, that's more easier than calling you guys Transformers and Transformers and him. Too much. I'm too old for that. My mind's not made up for that. So, hey guys. Yeah, there we go. So, the number six thing that's on my list. And this right here is something that I had to look at myself and be like, Tiffany, yo bad. You tried it. Yo bad. And it's alright. It's alright. So, the six thing is I actually... And this is, this is not for nobody who enjoys doing the 9 to 5. I did 9 to 5s for 20 years. I retired myself before the pandemic. Actually, 30 days before the pandemic, I retired myself, said I would never do another 9 to 5. I would never do another rat race. So, in the month of October, my income was reduced. I'm like, your girl need a job. You know, these lashes are expensive. I have habits and hobbies that are expensive. So your girl actually went and applied for a job. I got the job, got the job on the spot. Um, did a drug test, failed miserably, but the doctor passed me. Um, that's not what I wanna do, you guys. Me, I know it's November, I have kids, you know, like I said, I'm a hustler. There's other ways I know hustle to make money. But I was like, let me go to work. This was $25 an hour. I could stack. I could do what I got to do. I plan on moving them. Uh, almost got me. I plan on moving next month out of state. Not next month, next year when my daughter walked that stage. Um, I plan on leaving California and moving. So I was going to stack, just stack so I could have, uh, I don't know what, I don't know how to put it. But yes. They tried to take me out. 
got the job. They, it's just too much to the point where I said, man, take my application and throw it in the trash. It's too much. It's too much. That's not me. I'm not her. We're not that. So that tried to take me out. I was about to go back to work, y'all. Mm, go back to work. Now that I'm sitting here thinking about it, I can't believe I even wasted my time doing an application, going to an interview, going to take a drug test. I'm so disappointed in myself. But oh well, I did, I tried it, whatever. I know I could go in any job and get it. That's not a problem. Just like I can have anything I want in life. That's not a problem, but that's not what I want in life. You know, success to me is making your hours, making your own hours, and being able to help your family and being around your family when you want to. Going on vacation when you want to. Not taking no shit from nobody. That's success to me. So me working for that company, that's not going to be successful. I would never, 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 never stay in the same neighborhood as my boss. Never. So why would I want to live like that when God puts something in my heart? So yeah, let me stop it before I go there. That's the number 16 that tried to take your girl out. I almost put on a damn uniform, went back to work, and was going to put all my dreams on hold. And God said, you tried it. All right, you guys, so we are on the last thing, the seventh thing that tried to take your girl out the month of October. And I was going to do this video yesterday, which was October 31st. It was Halloween. I was going to do this video because I'm like, okay, October's almost over. What else can happen? <laughs> what else can happen? I mean, we have one more day. Let's get through it. Yeah. The one thing that tried to take me out the last day of October the enemy tried to get me, y'all. It tried to get me with one of my kids. One of my kids, my only daughter that I pushed out. It tried to attack her. Yesterday morning, she woke up, getting ready for work, and she had a seizure. Okay, 17 years old. I'm not gonna say too much about that because we're um we got referral to see a neurologist. You know, she did have tests and all that things at that time but that was something that tried to take your girl out and if you don't know me by now and if you do that's one thing that I cherish is my children I would turn hell and hot water for my kids so yesterday when the enemy tried to attack my daughter it tried to take me out it tried to take your girl out the month of October but like I said can nothing take me out nothing God would literally have to come down from heaven himself and tell me to stop. For me to stop anything that I want to do. So, I'm going to go on and end this video. Those are the seven things that tried to take your girl out the month of October. There's other little things that tried to take me out, but it did not make it to this list. So, we will not talk about those. And I will not talk about this no other time. I just want you guys to know that it's people out there in the world... Your favorite celebrities, your favorite rappers, your favorite singers, your, your Megans, your Cardis, and all them. They go through stuff. Let them people go through stuff, man. Don't be so judgmental. And if you are going through stuff, it's okay to be okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to wonder why, who, and all these thoughts. But don't let it take over your mind for too long. Pray about it. Put it in God's hand, bounce back, and be better. Be better, not bitter. I'm going to end this video, and I'm going to try to do another video tomorrow, but getting all dressed up and putting on makeup every day, even though I don't put on foundation, just a little. It's too much. Last time I did that, I did a video last, what, a week or two ago, and I did three videos back to back. Your girl had a little friend right here on her, on her cheek. And I said, man, this must be from the makeup. So... That made me stop doing videos. I would not do videos every day. I cannot put on makeup every day. I would not put on makeup every day. But I would try to get y'all some videos at least three times a week. Like I said, I'm going to bring my family on here. I'm going to bring y'all entertainment as much as possible. But like I say on all my videos, this is my channel. So you will see me. If I bring my son on there, if I bring my daughter or my man, that is an honor. 
that is an honor. I'm not hiding my family from the world. I'm hiding the world from my family. Y'all don't deserve it. Nah, I'm just playing. But yeah, go ahead, like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all be you. Because can't nobody be you, but you can look better. I tell y'all that all the time. Be you.